Microsystems LLP and today we'll see how we can install a third party library and use it in our React Native. So let's get started with it. Okay, this is, so this is the library calendar picker month that we are gonna integrate. And this is the size. So let's see how we can install. Let's open the terminal and paste this npm i react native month picker calendar so i stands for install and then we add the name of the library to use now let's go to ios cd ios and so since react native works on iOS as well so we need to install for iOS as well and this is how we install let's first go to the iOS directory and then hit the command so now let's see how we can use this library let's copy this calendar tag and let's paste it here and let's import it import custom calendar from the name of the library from and as you can see it is now visible let me just add it in the view So this is how the library is working. It is a calendar library and these are all the properties that we can use for this library. And let's get started with some of the properties. Let's add a dot color. Let's add red. And as you can see under me we have red. Let's change it to green. this is the color for month here let's change it as well red so as you can see it is red now now let's see this property left icon color and let's add yellow and this is yellow now let's add red and it is changed Let's try to print something here. Okay, let me clean the console. As you can see, it is currently printing this. Let's add something. Get calendar data and then we'll print the item so let's click submit and this is how it is get calendar data in May 2023 and here we have 2019 June November so this was to print what the data we have selected now let's see what happens here Currently it is submit, let's add done, so the button is changing, done, let's go back to submit only, let's see what else we can play with. text color button text we can change the background color as well and we can play with the button 
size button text color selected month color select red and this is how it is working we can add alert item submit and see this is the working so this is how we can include third party library in